Bluetooth headset hanging here, so I know where it is. And then in here, the bottom one right there, I keep my, my uh, watch <laughs> and my me medical bracelets. I know where they are at all times. It's so dusty in here. So I always block out the little windows here with towels, these little triangular shaped ones, because you don't realize that people can see in through those. Let me show you the rig from the back. This is pretty cool. So this is a really warm fleece, a sleeping bag. Now this is the really cool part. So this is a camping size mattress. I'll put a link to it. And inside, rolled inside of it, I have a memory foam topper. So when I lay this all the way out, like I sleep so well. I have back problems. I sleep better in here than I have in a lot of beds. Other cool thing right here, power box. Any auxiliary power that I want. So this, it charges off of the main car battery. But I got three prongs, I got USBs. I've got a um, one that you, the I forget what these are called, the pluggy ones like that. Um, and they run through the entire car. So this thing I can run on whenever I don't want the car on. Another thing I cannot recommend enough for wintertime is fleece-lined sweats and fleece-lined sweatshirts. I will put links for them in the comments along with everything else you'll have links for. I have this other really big gym bag, like the kind that you use when you're um, traveling for a hockey team or something. It's got a bunch of clothes in it too, so that's nice. Again, I'm short, so this works for me. So you can kind of see from the back, this is the full way it looks. Ignore the mess because this fell down Ugh. i actually have a black towel that i used to cover this up during the daytime when i'm not drying my towel out from the gym because it looks neater and crisper and stuff but for now i'm just using this because it's drying out okay a couple things you always have in your car this is in case it sets on fire <laughs> you just shake it and you spray it's great i always recommend having two not one uh, window shades. This one is metallic. <laughs> I just dropped my thing and it's rolling downhill. Okay, this one's metallic, so it keeps the sun out. This one is black, so at night when I want to park incognito, it's not as noticeable. So I really, really recommend having two. Also, when you're parking, the good reason to have two is that, see this right here, it might not feel like it's see-through to you, but it makes you feel a little extra sense of security if you're parking in a neighborhood. So you can literally just tape it on the inside when you're asleep, and it blocks off this so people can't see in either. Okay, I'm going to show you my window inserts now. All right, so these are Reflectix wrapped in vinyl. I saw a video of a woman who was showing how to make these with Reflectix and kept the met metallic side exposed on one side so you're set for heat or cold. This one's got a little, um, <laughs> I wrapped it in a plastic bag actually because it was starting to get too sticky on the edges like this one around here. The tape was getting sticky. Anyway, so these are amazing. They keep the heat in so well at night and they also black everything out so people can't see you. That's another reason why I kept them black and staying the Reflectix exposed. So when you're in the car, you have complete privacy and the heat stays in so well. This one for the back window is actually too heavy to put on the inside so I actually put it on the outside on top of the window works just fine buy some reflectix from home depot uh, trace out your windows with wax paper and then go buy some vinyl make the reflectix wrap it in the really good this actually is gorilla tape and then put the vinyl on the outside for the finished look I can walk around the car at night and not see any light in my car when I have those in. Highly recommend making yourself some of those. It'll make so much difference. You can also get some custom-made mesh window inserts that I'll send a link to. It's not quite small enough to keep little tiny bugs out, but it works for big stuff if it's hot at night and you want your windows down. This is duct tape. I recommend this, this very lightweight one. It's actually called duct tape, which is funny because as a kid, I thought that's what it was really called. What's great about this is if you need to block off any cracks or crannies at night when you've got your window inserts in, you can just snap this on, put it on there, and it comes right off without any damage to anything on the car. Don't use Gorilla Tape for this. Um, also, this kind of tape is also great if you just want like fill a tiny little hole and don't need the big stuff. Here's two other little pointers that I got for you. Pretend you've got your window shield up for the night. If you take a little black towel and tuck it up like this, or on here, whoops. If you tuck it up like this, it'll block out this middle section of light where usually the light would come through right here. It gives you a little bit more privacy. Black towels are your best friend. I cannot say this enough. Get black towels, black towels, black towels. They're great for covering your stuff. They're great for giving you privacy. Other little thing, if you have a cane or a stick, say I'm back here and I want to turn the car on first thing in the morning. All I got to do is take my cane, put it on the brake, boop, and hit the button. Boom. So I don't have to climb up here first thing in the morning and turn it on. Really helpful. So just reach up and boop, push it down and turn on the button. So I store my extra shoes down here. This is a power cord for my laptop. 
always plastic mats, rubber mats. They clean so much easier. You can just take them out at the car wash. Oh, I need to clean that one. And just clean them. This is something I really, really recommend too. This squeegee thing, if your windows are all foggy first thing in the morning, you don't want to use paper towels. It'll streak them. Use this thing, go across the windshield. It works so well. I can't recommend these enough. Okay, back to storage. These are my hiking poles right here. I keep them down on this side and also my cane. So they're always right here. Everything gets tucked away like that. And oops, <laughs> they get tucked away like that. And then all of my mats go up here along the wall. So when I open the door, they're right there. So yeah, when I'm all done packing things up, these just go right here along the door. I'm trying to shut it with my foot. Ah! As you can see, there's a lot of tape in here. Um, like right, ugh, trying to point backwards. There. Um, that's because there's a lot of gaps in the car and I don't want bugs coming in while I sleep. Another pointer, don't ever park next to a tree unless you check and see if there's ants running around the bottom of it. And try not to be near low-lying branches, you'll get those too. I had an ant invasion one time, not cool. I had to put little traps out um, every day um, and when I was not moving the car, and then at night just uh, hope they didn't bite me. Thankfully, there aren't fire ants out here like back home. But yeah, always check for bugs along the ground. Other thing, always look for north, south, east, west parking when you're parking check where it is if you are cold in the morning park so that the sun will shine on you so park facing east if you're worried about being hot when you wake up always park so that when the sun comes up you stay in the shade as long as possible so park away from the east this little black thing that i have to put in the front window starts to make a crinkly noise first thing in the morning when the sun comes up so i'll know it's starting to get hot in here every space is utilized for instance i have my hand sanitizer Ooh. Right here in these little ones. Always have a space for everything because you will lose things. I can't tell me how many times I'm sitting in the back of my car at night and I'm like, I literally just had my phone in my hand. Where'd it go? I don't have any more. So know where your stuff is. For instance, I always keep my glasses in this bad boy. So first thing in the morning, looking for my glasses, boom, that's where they are. So find your own spots to put your things and always know where they are. You'll save yourself so much time. I can't tell you how many probably hours add up together. I've wasted just looking around in my car trying to find stuff that I put down literally five seconds ago and don't know where I put it. Ooh, I forgot. Ugh. This, I have Velcro on the bottom of it so it won't run around when I'm not using it. This is a pocket-sized humidifier and it lights up rainbow colors when you plug it in. Out here, it's really dry at night. So you really need to have some source of humidity and this thing is just perfect. I got it on Amazon. It lights up all rainbow colory at night. And you can put it on a continual setting or a intermittent. And you'll wake up so much happier. Because I tell you, without that, some nights I wake up and it's like I feel like I have the worst hangover of my life. Because it's so dry in here. So always water and always have your humidifier near you. And always, always, always lids on everything. Because I guarantee you, even if you think you're that person who's never going to spill something, you will spill something and you'll regret it. And you'll wish that you listened to me and always had caps or lids on your drinks. Always do that.